talk free speech. The concept is that all who seek to speak their mind can talk in peace and not get shot or fined or beat worse. The First Amendment says that we got free speech, free religion and press, so the things that you wish to get off your chest can get expressed and not get suppressed. But on the TikTok and on YouTube too, I've been known to get muted and to not get viewed and to not get seen, not because I've gone new, but because Google says what I says too crude. True, but it's open to question and some of opine. There might be times when we gotta draw a line with the misinformation that's spreading online. Speech may be free, but it can't cost lives, right? It's quite complex. Pure free speech can sure cause a mess. And yet we want more free speech, not less. That's common sense. So we need context. So what comes next? Are we not free? And what must the limits of our free speech be? Beats me. But let me just teach. Here is the history of free speech. So-called free speech and the thought of the West has been traced to Greece. The Athenian policy of speech equality for all and the polity. They called it democracy. So speak as you want to speak, but not if you're not a he. And not if you're Socrates speaking on unorthodox topics. We've all agreed to make you drink hemlock. Stop the philosophy. Ah, gee. And in ancient Rome, too, there was liberty of speech, but it was freedom for a few. And it was even more true in the age of the Caesars. Depending who you were, the Caesar could seize your words. Yes, sir. I guess this is justice. And then there was Jesus in the age of Augustus. He died for his truth, but he vibed with his crew. And they made it glow viral. The idea grew. They tried for a few centuries to suppress the little movement until soon with the rest to the west they said the word is flesh as history attests sometimes the oppressor may become the oppressed and vice versa hmm. so free speech waned it took a back seat in a european brain behind the refrain all there is to see is the gospel so don't hear or say heresy Shh. But in the ancient Islamic state, free speech thronged to the opposite caliphate. Rwandi al-Razi and Avicenna could calibrate classical thought with the Quran and contemplate. And that was all great, but that Shangri-La of free thought got stopped by the Sharia law. Because it's all a seesaw, all in a Allah, and in between no free speech law, free of law. Uh. And so it went in the West, and yet free speech didn't rest in the press. And in the 15th century it did spread, when Gutenberg hit with the print and press. Luther pinned his words upon a church in Wittenberg and ripped a schism in the church and then within the Christian world a revolution then emerged with the question getting heard as to which of several versions of religion one should serve. Word? Reformation? Sure ain't vacation. Share if you dare your preferred salvation. And if it should disturb either church or the state, it still wasn't rare to get burned at the state. For Giordano Bruno, it sure was brutal. Literally burned for serving his truth. And though Galileo lied and lived, he hid a truth. Sure the earth's static, then he added, yet it moves. From the mid-16th to the mid-17th, many more Europeans would die for their beliefs and while some died for science other Europeans silenced the speech of other people through conquest and violence Meanwhile on another continent the colonists were confident their conscience said free speech for all by all they meant Caucasian men But the concept spread Elite de Gouge pled the cause of the enslaved and for feminism too in the French Revolution till she who had reached far ahead of her time lost her head for free speech but what they could not kill was a thought from the quill of a John Stuart Mill. Though all humankind minus one are not chill with the thought that one's got a right to talk still. And none is free till everyone is. You can read it in a narrative of Frederick Douglass, who freed his own self and freed his own mind by the writing and the reading by which freedoms are defined. And in time it was news fit to print when Ida B. Wells tells the truths of the lynch. When the leaders out in Selma went and used that bridge. When Mandela said he'd sooner serve truth than to live. When the truth hurts big, then let it be uttered. Free speech one mark. And Luther to another Never let him that what you're permitted to preach Somewhere I read Of the freedom of speech A century ago, a demagogue scoffed at the Marxist press and the news that was false. Does that bring anyone to mind? Mein Kampf. The guy wrote a book by the name of Mein Kampf. Oh my god, the Weimar Republic. Why didn't they prohibit it from ever being published? Out from off the presses, it was bestseller lit. But would Hitler not have hit if it hadn't been a hit? That hit's different. And then when they did try to censor them as when the Nazis really got big. As a martyr for a cause and a precedent was further than set for the censorship they met with him as pure. It's enough to make you furious. Censorship and murder. Silence all objectors and imprison all deserters. Perverters of the workers must be purged from the state That or the reverse, the commie perps are at your gate And our language of alert has been subverted by the urgent overstatement Every side is made against its other version Insurrection, treason, and sedition by the arch and other enemies of freedom Either way we choose to march it in the too much information of this internet of ours The office of the censor is the autocratic powers of the platforms Driven by their profit as they scour while we post our speeches and while away our hours Things seem freer than what all were accosted You can still get shot up for drama, Muhammad You can still scroll a phone that was made in a spot that has a government That doesn't let you scroll where you want it is your own mind free? Can they tell you what to do? Cause there's no vaccine for the fact that ever knew Enemies of what's true speak louder than you Why can't she speak with her nipples out too? Mm. And so to conclude 
conclude, no freedom of speech has been true absolute. All we can do is judiciously choose to whom we will listen when seeking the truth. And when fools speak and single out groups, the best way to silence them and clip their roots isn't to refuse their right to speak, but critique even louder than you used. Even when the speeches are evil, we cope, leaning on the note that if we don't let the evil be spoken, then when we speak, we too will be choked. It's a slippery slope, but we roll with hope. And this sound, whether it's suppressed or spreads around, whether it's viral or never gets found, whether any platform takes it down, is a speech dedicated to the peeps who were dedicated each to what must get said for the many that have bled and as many get bleeped. This has been the history of free speech. Mm.